Marsha Lilly, this morning in the Road Home Party's Furniture, you're going to see one of these donor coaches right here. The Rhode Island Blood Center, and it's time for the Spring Blood Drive. I'm joined by Nick Ron and Pete Carty from Car the Rhode Island Blood Center. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good morning. Ben. How are you? Nick, why don't we start off with each other the details about the where, the when. Well, it's this Saturday. It'll be our Swansea store, our South Attleboro store, our West Warwick store, and our South County Commons store. It's from 10 until 2 o'clock. It's going to be easy. The whole process takes about an hour. It's easy to give. The only pain is when you don't give the blood. So it's uh, we need the people to come out this weekend. We do, we do. Now, Ron, as I mentioned, it's the spring blood drive. Do you guys do this for every season? Every season, all four seasons, because it's very important. People need the blood year-round, and it's good to get into a groove and just make sure we're doing it consistently. It also gives the opportunity to our staff to participate and be part of the community, so it's easy for them to just come outside, jump on the bus, donate, and go back to work. Pretty good, pretty good. Glenn Hallison from the Rhode Island Blood Center. Glenn, what happens once the blood is donated? Well, most, the majority of the blood actually stays right here uh, in, in our community to help those who have been affected by trauma uh, incidents and uh, as a part of their ongoing therapy. Uh, we cannot get blood from anywhere except from individuals who are willing to give the gift of life. That sounds great. You forget sometimes, you know, about the ongoing therapy and that, that that's what people need it for. That's right. Good, good, good point. Now, Pete. Okay, I'm gonna you sign guys, you guys, you're gonna sign me up right now. Go okay. for it, my man. Right, you right. and your brothers have been donating for a while, right? Why don't you tell us a little bit about the process? Very much so. Uh, we've been donating. I think we're almost up to a gallon. So I think at a gallon they give us some type of prize. We're <laughs> waiting for that. A free sofa. <laughs> maybe, <a> sofa? <laughs> well, maybe, <laughs> maybe. But uh, we've been doing pints for, for over the years, and the process is really simple. People come in, sign these forms. It just takes a few minutes to fill it out. After that, you'll come in and uh, sit down. Lie on a nice couch. It's not a Cardi's couch, but it's pretty comfortable. Do the process. As Nick mentioned, it's under 45 minutes and you're out the door. On the way out, you'll also get some great parting gifts, some nice food, uh, whether it's uh, candy or some things just to get you uh, that your sugar back up. And uh, the process has just been a wonderful experience between Cardi's and the Blood Center. We've saved so many lives. I think the figure is for every pint you donate, and usually when you donate, you'll donate one pint of blood, you can save up to three lives. And where can you say wow. that and do that? So we're hoping that this Saturday, people come out 10 to 2. It's going to be a great event. Uh, it's a lot of fun. There'll be some gifts, too, for people to come out in, in the vans. And uh, we're just hoping for a great response from it the is, community. Well, it's a great cause. Thanks so much, guys. For more information on donating for the Spring Blood Drive, just head over to the website, foxprovidence.com.